Hey everyone, Chris Grandy, ChrisGrandy.com, PlanWithChris.com. Quick video just on um, kind of the tenor of the market. You know, we had a pretty strong correction in December, really sudden, quick, general, definitely led to what they call oversold conditions. You know, people who watch the flow of stocks and such, they have these indicators, definitely strongly oversold in the short term. And then we had a real rip roar and rally uh, this the start of this year. And now we're starting, we're kind of in that questioning mode. We, you know, the stocks are kind of back to where they were last year, depending on the index you're looking at. U.S. stocks, that is, not foreign stocks. And it may make sense now to take some chips off the table. You're starting to see, um, you know, if a company does really well, the stock tends to really jump or a new concept or something really, really well. If a stock is done, um, puts out some bad news or moderately bad news, it's getting croaked. And what happens usually in bull markets is, you know, bad news gets kind of forgiven or forgotten. And, and we you know, if a stock does get hit a little bit, it bounces back. But you don't usually see some of the blasts that some companies are getting these days. That tells you we're in kind of a sideways market, an indecisive market. And, you know, the, the smart money is going to be trying to chase the uh, what's working as opposed to what's, uh, you know, what's might be a good investment. Um, you know, what's working might be a good investment, but generally speaking, they're going to go with what's going trending up. They're going to want to own stocks that are rising and the story, you know, with, the, with an improving story as opposed to stocks with the, you know, with a bad news release and, and, and gloom and doom for the future and the near future. So I would advise it might be a good time to take some chips off the table. I did a video uh, some time ago on tax strategies. And I think that's appropriate now. I need to make a re, re, uh, uh, kind of reemphasize that video. It's how to reallocate your portfolio in a tax efficient way. And part of it is using times or if you've got any, any loser investments or such, um, now's the time to sell them and use that as an opportunity to take the lot. One of the things was, you know, taking your losses and using that as an opportunity to get more conservative. I, I do think that, um, you know, we've, you know, the market's really pushing it and, you see a lot of cyclical businesses like uh, uh, semiconductor companies not so hot on their on their previously forecasted second half rebounds and auto auto car auto companies you know sales down it's just a lot of cyclical stuff you see uh, default rates rising in auto loans among uh, lower credit consumers something we hadn't seen since uh, you know the last uh, kind of recession so am I, am I saying get out and go into the bunker no I mean, I'm not I'm not advising you what to do I'm just thinking you might want to consider adding a little bit of caution to your overall plan here and maybe taking some chips off the table just to have some cash ready in case some really good opportunities pop up. Just a thought, thought I'd share with you. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. If you uh, want to reach out to me, you know, go to planwithchris.com. If you want to discuss working with me, there's an intake form there. You can just fill that out for the most part. But nonetheless, any questions down below, if you like the video, like it. If you want to subscribe, do that too. And and uh, definitely appreciate you watching. Have a great day and thanks for coming by.